KD all day. This next set of videos will cover absolute value questions. I don't necessarily love absolute value questions. That is not because they're any harder than any other type of question on the GMAT, but they can be harder to anticipate than some of the other question types. In other words, there is no single approach that I find myself using and applying for every single absolute value question. Sometimes I find myself doing them algebraically, and algebra is usually my preference because when I'm doing things with algebra, I am doing them on paper, and therefore I am proving the answer to myself. The answer I come up with should exactly match whatever the right answer choice is. Other times, though, with absolute value questions, I find myself better off testing numbers with certain types of absolute value questions. Now, I am someone who believes that testing numbers is a very useful skill to have on the GMAT, and it is something I have become comfortable learning, not necessarily for every question, because like I said, my preference is usually algebra, but certainly for questions that I can't do with algebra, or really questions where I might not see how to do the algebra. I do not know how to translate the prompt into algebraic equations. And very commonly, those are for absolute value questions. So we'll talk about having a testing numbers framework that can be applied really for any question, at least any quant question, but I find myself using it a lot with absolute value questions. Now, lastly, sometimes with absolute value questions, you really just need to think about them. And those are the ones I would say I like the least because my weakness is anything that involves visualizing or manipulating numbers in my head, having to move numbers around in space rather than on paper. So we will talk about all of those things and how to recognize all of those different types of absolute value questions. And by the end of these videos, I would say you don't necessarily need to love absolute value questions, but you shouldn't hate them either. And you certainly should not fear them. They are the equivalent of the dirty street pigeons of the GMAT. So on that lovely note, let's get started with absolute value.